this has just cost me at least a quarter of a million pounds. You feel me now, the HW journey? All about me trying to grow a global watch man from my kitchen. Let's go. Taxi should be here. Another adventure, my friend. The American adventure continues. Is it? It's ways to turn this back. It's full of keychains. Hello, my friend. It's at this stage where you get halfway down the road, or I remember I've forgotten something. We've got a month in the States. We've got various meetings to do on both coasts. Um, we're going to go to five new states, part of the Fine Timon 50 State Challenge, and um, hopefully meet loads and loads of people. If they don't come out, it means we're doing something wrong. I'm uh, trying to find the words to explain how I feel at the moment. Um, I've been denied access, entry to the States because of my visa. This was not flagged by our solicitors. I've got a visa application ongoing as well at the moment for a five year permanent visa. I was told I can continue to use my existing visa, that it's all okay. Gone to the airport, it's not all okay. I can't go. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen after the rest of this year. There's always a solution, there's always a solution. Whenever a problem comes up like this, you gotta look at, okay, what, what can we do instead? But realistically, this has just cost me at least a quarter of a million pounds. to completely rejig this year. Uh, we push on with the other plans we've got for the fine team change here in the UK. We concentrate on the UK market to the end of the year, April. We spend six weeks going down to Australia. We've got the launch of all those new watches at the end of April. How in the freaking hell are we going to get this done? My USB has been revoked. Track the trip's been cancelled. So you, you went to the airport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be another four months before my lab back in the US. Yeah, fucking is the first word to use in trying to describe what the fuck is going on. I reckon it's going to impact our sales between now and the end of the financial year by about a quarter of a million pounds. Any chance or thought that we had of doing 9 million next financial year is going to be fucking. We've been cancelling all the Airbnbs, the flights, car hire, all those things. So this is what the solicitor said. Tim will need to wait until his E2 is issued to enter the US. There are no options in this case to request that the decision be overturned. Well, we were planning on doing 15,000 units in March. Well, I assume we're going to have to completely rethink um, I'm trying to find positives in this, but yeah. uh, we're going to re totally rethink the fine team in 50 states, how we're going to get it done. Do we bother now getting it done? Do we drop the whole fine team in 50 state thing? 50 watches as well? Or? No, 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 don't do that. No. You will not believe how good a job they've done on that watch. Look at that, it's outstanding. I said I want to watch that, that has a journey, that has a story. I said well, I want to design it based on the old school uh, American watches. I want to basically a nod to the heritage of the US watch making industry. Fuck me, they've knocked it out of the park. They've knocked it out of the park. It's quite it possibly one of the most impressive bits of work I've ever had done by a subcontractor. No, no, not, not possibly, it is. By far.
Hey, I want one more. It doesn't do anything, I just like doing it to you. Do you feel the flex of your journey? What a day, what a day. This could quite possibly be one of the worst days in the history of our business. But I think we need to tour the UK. I think we need to become as active as possible. We need to do some, and we've got to start straight away. We've just got to get on this straight away. We haven't got any time to think or lose over this. Uh, there's not many, there's not much time. What's the date today? Uh, the 16th. 16th, we've got 12 days left of this month. Is focus on views, new audience, and engagement. We're going to make an announcement ASAP. I think what we're going to have to do is probably find one overseas place a week uh, to go, but we literally nip in. It'd be really good if we can fly somewhere in the morning and fly back in the evening. There Come. is a later flight, but we'd be leaving London at half six in the morning and then we'd be home in London at half nine. But that had to be it. Yep. So we have to get there quarter to seven. That means we could do two lives from there. There you get a little trip in. Yeah. You're still going to get a trip, <laughs> although it's not America. <laughs> Belgium, Brussels is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, Monday, Belgium. Belgium, nice early start. But, um... Nothing like a bit of traffic on the M25 to start off your day, Monday morning. This is something new that we're trying today. Because of what's happened with America, we've got to look to pivot, we've got to make sure that we can still produce good quality content. So what we've decided to do is to do a series of surprise fine team challenges from really special places. We're going to go all over Europe. Today we're starting in Belgium. I have no idea today, actually, this is going to be the first time in ages where I really don't know whether or not we're going to be found. But we're going to shoot a silent flying team in Belgium, in Bruges. <laughs> oh. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Better luck this time at the airport. <laughs> yeah, see if we can get on the plane this time. Yeah. We're moving on. Keep watching the plane. Okay. To Belgium and we went to the site that we'd scouted on Google for the fine team challenge. Only problem was when we got there it was a building site so now we had a problem. We had to find another site and quickly to do the silent fine team challenge from. The only place is to go to go over that side. We've got to find somewhere over that side. That's too much of a throwaway there. Courtyard because we've got this big building in the background. There's a place that used to around the side. I'm just wondering whether the view, I think we need to be right in this. That's smack bang in the middle. Let's walk up straight right, over this way and see where we get on. With time and now the weather against us as well, we finally found a place to do the Silent Fine Tim Challenge. We had a very short period of time to get this done. You be watching? Yeah, I have a door uh, and I saw it scrolling on my picture. I saw it, I recognized the building like this. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Like, okay, I'll tell oh, you what, oh, we've got to do this again. No way! No way! My friend. Thank you very much. Have Thank you. Thank you very much. Enzo's come round and found me. Come on, Enzo. Come into the shot. Say hello, Hi. Enzo. Well done, my friend. Thank you. Have a watch. 
Now, no visit to Belgium is complete without getting a waffle. <laughs> I don't know which to have now. It's too many choices. Uh, can I have a uh, caramel uh, and whipped cream? Oh my good god. Look at that. And cream. And cream, oh yeah. Uh, Oh my good god. That is beautiful. I can't believe the team wanted me to hurry up and eat the waffle. We had loads of time to catch the train. No! Jump <laughs> we don't want to get home, do we? <laughs> Which next direct one? The direct one is going to be since 30. Which takes one at 6.30. We're getting that tip, the bit an hour before the flight we're sitting. We're going to have to check. Customs are. See you, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Enjoy your watch. Everyone comes out. Right, back to the UK. Anyhow, you have to come to Germany. I've already done Germany. Are you famous as Wendy? Are you <laughs> damn right I am. What do you reckon, Lorna? Am I famous? Absolutely. Absolutely. We've read a vote. Two out of three of us have said I'm famous. It's at times like this that when you reflect after traveling a long way from home, just how appreciative I am of everybody's support. But also, it, it always amazes me the reach of what we're doing here. I mean, we're in Belgium. We've had four or five people come up to me and say, love your journey. I sat down to have lunch in the square and the guy sitting down next to me was from Toronto, Canada, and he recognized me and spoke to me as well. So, um, yes, it was a great trip. We made some good content, that's what we came here to do. But what I'm really going to take from today is that it's working. It never ceases to amaze me just how much the name of Hagley West and Love Your Journey is getting out around the world. But we need to keep going, we need to do more. Are there any low-hanging fruit good names that we think we could just get really quickly? Well, I would say Ian, Ian Wright's having a look at it as we speak. Ian Wright? 